Hi guys, welcome to the Fight Age channel. Boxing coach from Great Britain Dave Caldwell in an interview with the local news portal answered a question about a possible invitation to the camp of the former heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua and told how good the United Champion from Ukraine Alexander Usyk is, recalling Alexander's duel against Britain Joe Joyce within the WSB. Also, the mentor speaking about Usyk mentioning the ex-champion and three categories from Belgorod Nistrovsky Vasily Lomachenko. It looks like Joshua is going to have a big challenge as in the training camp. There will be either new team members or a move. Has anyone contacted you about working with him? No, no, Caldwell says. Obviously, about a rematch against Usyk and Joshua. He will not enter the ring in order to try to recycle Usyk in his game. AJ will try to be more aggressive and use his attributes, because Joshua has fantastic attributes. But the problem is that he fights with a man who is very, very good. His mind is just top. People talk about his boxing match control and boxing IQ. It's really a fashionable term. But Usyk is the next level. He had seen all the styles before. People say he's bigger. All these big guys will go right through him and all that. Have you seen Joyce versus Usyk in the matches? Usyk eventually ended up making him back away. It's the same in the first fight with Joshua. What happened in the last round? It seems that the strongest was clearly determined in the last round. Usyk calculated Joshua. He has an outstanding coach promoter Fury. Usyk is a very, very good fighter. And he hits harder than you think. And he is physically stronger than you think. His strength is underestimated. Look, he is never going to be the most destructive puncher. He doesn't have that power of one knockout punch. But it is not needed. People are just blinded. They say, oh, if you are not a big puncher, then you can't win world titles. Look at the world champions. There are not many fighters among them with one knockout blow. The skill level is to make you miss and counterattack. To make the brain boil, to tire the mind, to make mental exhaustion, so that you start making mistakes. The more mistakes you make, the more music focuses on this and switches gears. It's mentioned during supplements. Lomachenko is the same. If you watch Lomachenko's fights, you watch five or six rounds of his fight. Oh, it's a pretty competitive fight. But when you look after the sixth round, you see how this level is revealed. The gap between the fighters increases because of the levels. Dave Caldwell said in an interview. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then you receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to my channel. You are my support. Thank you so much. British heavyweight Dillian White doubted that the WBC world champion in his weight, compatriot Tyson Fury, will agree to fight with him. This was announced by the boxer's promoter Eddie Hearn. Dillian doesn't believe Tyson will fight him. To be honest, he doesn't believe anything the Fury team representatives say. White doesn't want to say anything until the contracts are signed and all the money is paid. I also don't believe in all this, but we will see. Dillian White is ready and trains without a break. By the way, we should not dance to their tune. Tyson wants championship and incitement. Fury wants to watch White's reaction. Maybe Dillian won't say anything before the fight. We should not be playing someone else's game. White will never do that. Hearn said. Recall that last week the promotion company Queensbury Promotions, representing the interest of the champion, won the bidding for the right to organize a fight with Dillian White, but the date of the fight is still unknown. Eddie Hearn, the promoter of former world heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua, accuses WBC title holder Tyson Fury of disrupting unification with WBA, WBO and IBF champion Alexander Usyk. We are planning a Usyk-Joshua fight. 
I think it will take place anyway, probably one or two weeks after Canelo's fight. This is a big fight. There was a lot of talk about compensation and so on. The conditions changed, but the plan was always very simple. Fury fights with Usyk for the title of absolute champion, and Joshua meets the winner. A very simple plan. By the way, Joshua never subscribed to this stem. We negated it at all, but he didn't want to do it. But in my opinion, it was a very smart plan. Then Fury turned around and said, I won't fight with Usyk right away. I want to have a warm up fight on March 26, and I definitely do not believe that he would perform on March 26 in June and in December. So we said not to this fight in March. We tried to renegotiate the terms of this whole deal. But Fury said he didn't want to fight Usyk right away and would fight White. Here on site in an interview. Former world champion Dmitry Pirog believed that Alexander Usyk will become a boxing legend if he defeats the WBC champion Tyson Fury. This will be Usyk's most difficult opponent. I doubt to express confidence that it will be a victory for Usyk. It will be 50-50 because with all the rather interesting behavior that Tyson Fury demonstrates, he is emotionally ready for any confrontation. Fury is a major person in boxing, moreover, he is the kind of boxer who will not be discouraged by any situation, even his fall in pronounced peak during the fight, when it seems that the fight will end. He survives anywhere and not just because his central nervous system is ready for it, but because he comes out psychologically relaxed. This is not given to everyone. In addition, he is more trained than many people perceive. I think this will be the most difficult confrontation for Usyk. But if he passes Tyson Fury, then he can be safely put on a pair with Muhammad Ali, Pirog said in an interview. Top British heavyweight Joe Joyce commented on the decision of his compatriot Anthony Joshua to hold an immediate rematch with the WBA, WBO and IBA world champion Alexander Usyk, instead of taking compensation and allowing the Ukrainian to fight with the WBC title holder Tyson Fury. We are talking about millions for just having a side and not fighting. It's like, okay, will you give him the money? Okay, thanks. Of course, this is the situation, but Joshua naturally thinks about the legacy. I think he will agree to every match. Let's see if he has the hunger to show a good performance and beat Usyk in their second match. I'm looking forward to this fight, Jojo said in an interview with Frank Warren's Queensbury Promotions YouTube channel. According to the British media, 15 million pounds were offered for refusing a rematch with a Joshua Usyk. AJ's promoter Reddy Hearn claims that his word was never interested in compensation and then the negotiations finally broke down because of Fury. Bob Arum in an interview for the British media told how he sees the future fight between Tyson Fury and his compatriots, temporary title holder Dillian White. The functionary also told what plans he is building for the numbers of pay-per-view broadcasts sold in the United States. In addition, Arum criticized the manner of doing business of investors from Saudi Arabia. Recall that promotional auction for the Fury White fight took place early. Tyson's side won the right to host the match with a record beat of $41 million. Dylan White has a great chance because he is a big puncher, and he is a very tall heavyweight, very experienced. If anything, he is a great answer to Tyson, then even Wilder, and then they Wilder dropped Tyson twice. It's a really good heavyweight fight. You know boxing. You have seen the power of Dylan White. It's going to be a huge fight. And you hear and bet more than $30 million. I believe it is supported by Dozen. It would be a demonstration fight for a dozen, which is trying to build a base in Britain. I think their strategies. They kinda failed in the States. They could have had a much better chance in Britain to build some momentum. It would really help to launch well in Britain. Now they are probably using the Usyk and Joshua rematch, said Bob Arum. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel.